Hey guys, Dan here from danstube.tv, and today I've got a really awesome application to show you guys. It's called MobbyZen, and it's available for all Android devices. I will have the link in the description below, and right now I'm streaming it on my uh, Android device, my Samsung Galaxy S4, and then I've jumped over to mobbyzen.com, uh, connect in right now, and it will access my device, connecting, authenticating, blah blah blah. And then when we get into the actual uh, desktop interface, we have so much freedom. And this is where this application or where this service really excels. You can actually record your screen um, from the desktop version. That noise right there is connected right now. That's what it symbolizes. Um, and here we go. This is the actual interface here. And it's my device right now. This is exactly what's going on on my device. I can stream everything. Uh, I can pretty much do everything and I can see my device is reacting to everything I'm doing on the screen right now. Little bit of lag at the moment for some reason, I don't know why I didn't have any issues earlier on. Probably because now I'm recording. There we go, it's kind of working. Anyway, um, I've got these options up here, I've got some settings, help, and blah blah blah. Um, but if I jump into my music, it should set up all of my music into a nice little interface. Well, the files seem to launch a lot quicker. There we go. Um, hopefully they will optimize everything and it will be running a little bit smoother. I have noticed a slight delay. Um, but this is all of my files. These are all of my files here. Um, I can jump into my pictures. And everything seems to be running quite smoothly. I can download the picture here. I can add files onto um, my actual phone from the desktop and copy files off my phone onto my desktop. Um, so quite a handy little feature to have. Refresh everything. If we go back now, hopefully we can maybe see photos in a different interface. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're going to optimize this feature in the future. Everything else seems to run quite smoothly though. I haven't had any issues so far. Um, probably my favorite feature though. Ah, here we go. It's working now. So here's all my music and it's indexing my music. I guess it's just because there's so much it had to uh, stream all of that over. But here we go, there we go. So that's all of my music there and I can stream that directly from my device without any issues, which is super handy. Um, and then photo is the exact same thing. Um, but when it comes down to it, this is probably the key feature that had sold me on this application. Um, everything's free, the service is free and it's super easy to set up. Um, but this feature right here, recording my actual device, so right now I'm actually playing around on my uh, Galaxy S4 and when we stream the video back you will be able to hear the audio from me talking as well as see everything that I'm doing. So we'll jump into Facebook and um, it's super handy, it's telling me we're at 15 seconds, I'm at 4.5 megabytes, 4.7. Um, and this would be a super handy feature, maybe if I purchase the Galaxy Tab S, the latest one that just came out, it would be really handy for me as an app reviewer because I could actually record the screen, stream it to my actual desktop, I have the option for frames, uh, frames per second, the FPS, I also have the option for the quality as well so I can stream in medium or high or low end or whatever, um, and it just gives you a lot of freedom, it's super handy. Um, so yeah, I'll just scroll through Facebook for a bit. We'll stop the recording, and now on the desktop you can see, just turn that off, you can see I've now got one for videos here. So let's jump into this, it might take a little while to load everything. But yeah, so far the experience with MobbyZen is very pleasant, I haven't had any issues. The only thing, like I said, is the slight lag, the uh, delay when you actually try to load into these applications on the desktop. Um, that may just be something to do with the back end, it may have something to do with even my internet connection, I have no idea. But the experience itself um, is just great, I haven't really had too many issues with lag or anything. Um, and also sometimes I notice myself clicking into files, coming back, and then it will work. So there you go, straight away. So that makes me think maybe it's something to do with their back end. Um, it'll be something that will be fixed though, so it's not a major issue. But this is my video right here. This is literally what I just recorded. This is a super handy feature. I haven't seen any other app that can offer this. Um, yeah, but I'd love to know in the comments below what you think of this application. Personally, for me, um, great. Really useful. And hopefully, I'm going to be able to utilize this feature, this streaming feature, in the future for some of my videos. Um, so it should be streaming. It's just taking its time. Sorry, guys. Come on. Um, but yeah, sorry about this delay, it kind of sucks. 
Um, I don't want to blame it on the company because it could have something to do with my computer, my internet connection, it could just be, you know, overloaded the servers at the moment. I have no idea. There's so many different variables at play here. It is buffering though, so hopefully very shortly. Here we go. So right now I'm actually playing around on my uh, Galaxy S4 and when we stream the video back you will be able to hear the audio from me talking as well. There we go, so that was a little snippet of it. I'm not going to wait anymore. It's enough for me. Um, there we go, the email came through. Um, but yeah, that is it there. Very beautiful interface. Everything works nicely, nice and smooth. And uh, the interface is beautiful as well. Really great application. You can see I'm just playing around on my phone now. And there is a slight delay at the moment, which is kind of annoying. I didn't have this delay before when I was recording. Um, it could have something to do with the actual recording on the device. It's taking up uh, too much of the CPU power. Um, it could have you know, a multitude of reasons behind this. But anyway, I'm going to end this video sh quickly. I'm going to end it now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you enjoy this application, MobbyZen. Like I said, there will be the links in the description below to check out the app and also for the website, MobbyZen.com. Uh, thank you for watching. That's pretty much it, guys. I love all of the support. I appreciate everything. And peace out, guys. Have a great one.